Hey everybody, welcome to the dawn of another Golden Goblet. This one is uh, the Golf Club 2019. We love the golf, the mini golf's been going great, but we're gonna take it up a notch to play a, a slightly more realistic golfing simulator. So it's gonna be very official and very simplistic. You know, if you've never seen us play Golf Club 2019, it's basically, if, if you think of mini golf as golf, this is basically mega golf. It's not hard to understand. Um, sorry, I keep thinking that I'm using, uh, the PS4 controller. We want Atlantic Beach Country Club. We're gonna play the front nine on every single one of these. Change custom rules, I think is how we do that. Play the front nine. And we'll play from the, uh... I'm trying to think of what we should play from. We can play from the red tees. Here's the thing, I don't want to introduce, like, too many difficult, uh parameters in here. I want to make sure that everybody from the Golden Goblet is on the same page. So let's go ahead and create the match here. Red tees, and I gotta tell you, I've played 50 hours of this game. Hello there. John full here. full Welcome stop. We also got John. Golf. Say hello to John, please. And I'm gonna figure out Atlanta where I put Beach myself. Club today. Maybe right here. Tell you, I've been in worse places. Oh. A fantastic property. You're it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful course, John. Okay, so to swing, you pull the stick back, you move it forward, and Solid then you see how you swing. did. Pretty good. Pretty good right out of the gate. No complaints. A little bit fast on the forward swing, and uh, this really is an excellent game. I'm not saying that I'm, like, both Malf and I have played a lot of this. This is, uh, at least until the new PGA Tour game comes out, um, this July, I think. This is, like, the preeminent golf simulator. Highly, highly recommended. Um... So I think, hold on, I'm like, how do, you, how do I adjust my loft? No, we don't want to use the sand wedge. I mean, I, I don't want to get too picky about it. I'm just trying to... There we go. We want to go a little higher on loft, which makes the swing harder to hit. We're not going to get too picky. And it has been a long time since I've played. We're just going to try to keep things as steady as possible here. And you got to admit, that's a great start. <laughs> It's just a, it's a beautiful experience. All right, let's look at this. This is a putt for, for birdie. I'm gonna adjust slightly. I don't expect this to be super easy. I ex I expect this to be fairly difficult, honestly. So the putter goes 144 feet. We definitely under putted that, but hey, this is this is what you do. You know, it takes a bit. It takes a bit to get it all lined up. Oh, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I like a good realistic golf game, just to be honest with you. I like a good realistic golf game. Because it's a little bit... It's less accessible than, uh, than a miniature golf. Quiet while I focus, please. That ball was launched, but the you can tell my stick placement wasn't too great on it. <laughs> but it's just like it's just a little bit more highfalutin when you get something great, right? So a gap wedge will will drop pretty quickly. I actually think like this is a pretty good shot as is right here, as long as your strokes on point. <laughs> Never been a problem for me. <laughs> okay, so we got on the green in two. There's there's a good chance for a par here, but it is a long putt. I mean, this is just. On a mini golf hole, this would be like whatever, no big deal. But in a game like this, to possibly sink it with a three inch uh, elevation, oh baby, it would it would it would pog you to the moon and Antarctica, Ugh. just slightly off. But I'm not sweating it. All right, drop this par putt. Let's do it. And John in the background, so encouraging. I do have to say, by the way, I got at least, I think I got two golds on the Call of Duty Warzone Golden Goblet. That's a world that I can live with. I'm, I'm very content with that. Let's see what happens here. I, I thought we, we did, that was our best uh, Call of Duty performance as of yet. Okay, so here's my thinking. We, if, if anyone gets a hole in one, in my world, they've won instantly. Oh my God, no. Hold on, I gotta make sure I got this. We don't want to pitch it. Normal is good. But we do want to raise our loft a little bit. Though spicy, this will make it more affected by the wind, and it'll roll less when it hits the green. But your stroke has to be absolutely perfect. Mission failed. 
But you know what? That's gonna have to hit something. That's the John. Come on, that's nice. not that bad. Ended up all right there. We ended up on the green here. at least. See what you can do. And then, uh, dude, it looks like we're we're putting in my old uh, suburban neighborhood. <laughs> uh, just wanna just wanna take a look. Seems like it's a relatively mild lie. Let's see how we're doing here, boys. Oh, cinematic camera. It was a little bit of a downslope. I probably put a little bit too much gas on it. This is an important moment. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I can live with the par. Malf is the golfer you really got to watch out for. I'm not saying Dan has no chance, but Malf is really, he's, he's a golfer extraordinaire. He, he knows all about this stuff. All right. Well, with our driver, I don't think we're making it onto the green here. So we'll just try to make sure we're close. Wow, that one. The wind really took that one. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm happy I'm not in the sand. How we, how we doing? Where's our ball? Reading a lie. No thanks. I... Red text from my college girlfriend. Hi, y'all. <laughs> uh, we don't talk anymore, but it's okay. Um, so let's see. It's going to carry 73 to 80%. So we actually might... Depends. You might want to kick it a little further on this one. But if we flop it... No, I think if you flop it, you want something like this. So I think we want like a full power shot like right here. And honestly... We aimed a, kind of way too far to the Here's left, but I can live birdie. with it. And this is a putt for birdie on a relatively straight green. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we have breached being a scratch golfer. We are at minus one. That's what being a scratch golfer and means, right? From the fifth hole, tee off. It's so pleasant. I'm going to be honest. This is hole in oneable. You might want to. I think you want to alter your your loft on this one because you want it to stay a little bit more in the air so it rolls less when it hits the ground. But what if, what if you went for a... What if you flopped it with something a little bit more ambitious? Can't be done, huh? I mean, the pitch here is just a little too... Well, I, I don't know. This might work. To, to pitch it, like, right here. Pitches roll a lot. I think we'd be better off going, like, give me the normal shot with your... With your lob wedge. It's already getting lobbed. And I know there's wind, but the wind doesn't affect it maybe as much as you'd think. And then let's try something. Make sure we're lined up. Hey, dude, you only get one chance in this game. You only get one chance. Make sure it's lined up like this. That's okay. Not a bad shot. Oh. <laughs> we did not need to change our loft. We could have been competing there. We could have we could have been a contender. We got a 13 foot putt. It's going actually it's going down four inches, I think. If I'm reading the green. Oh no, it's going up. It's going up. Never mind. I'm a fool. So we want to hit it a little harder. This one's got a chance. John, you got my hopes up. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Next you, hole coming up. He's right. Next hole is coming up. Okay, one I'm very eager to see how people do with this okay, game. And and see six. how I do with the game, honestly. Uh, having not played it for several years. Like, I was getting into this. I felt that one being way off. We're, we're out in the suburbs, dude. We're like an Arcade Fire album. Oops. Oops. It's okay. It's not good. I think on this one, you, you you can't do the mini golf strat in this, right? Like, you got to be a little smarter. And maybe try to hit it at least around the tree, if possible. That one also felt horrible. <laughs> but we're on the green. Okay, or we're on the fairway, I should say. Now, focus on your swing here. We're about 220 yards out. 220 yards out. He's, he's Canadian. That's okay. I can make fun of the Canadian accent because I have a Canadian accent. You want to hit this... Nearly full power. There is a, a decently strong wind. Whoops, what have I done? I hit a button when I was trying to get into stroke position. Oh, I, I, I clubbed up. 
Maybe full power is a little bit of a stretch. Might want to throw this at like... Yeah, 90%. I like that a little bit more. Never mind. But this is the kind of game you can't just come back and be like, I immediately know how to play everything in this game, you know? This is the kind of game you got to be a little bit more... You know, being out of practice is a big deal. The flop... The problem is the flop is not going to get us there. I think you got to go slightly further on this one. Or... Work with me here. Pitch is not going to work. Chip. A chip in a chair. Like, that's not great either. Hmm. This is a tough choice. This is, this is the meat and potatoes of golf right here. It's a very tough shot because it's a, it's a real in-between. I think our best play is probably to go back to the lob wedge and just flop it where they wanted it. Or is it the pitching wedge? Yeah, a pitching wedge with a flop. Okay. I wish I could put some extra sauce on it, but it is what it is. And we'd like it to roll more, but it's already hard enough to get this stroke to work. Oh, dude, pretty good. Still, is there going to be a heck of a putt here for for, hey, this one for par? par? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let her rip, bud. It's not going to get in there for par. Yikes. Right by. He hit us with an oops and a yikes and in the same game. For bogey. This is a pretty good bogey position here. Look at that. Well done. Well done. All I'm going to say is, dude, I feel like we're doing pretty well for being relatively out of practice. We are doing nine holes instead of 18 for, for timing reasons. Everybody involved with the Golden Goblet feeling a little busy uh, lately, which I, I think is fair. Um, this, is a, this is a tough one, dude. Because, like, you can try to thread the needle through the trees, but if you do it wrong, you're going to end up hitting the, the grass... Or the sand trap, I should say. I think we're better off trying something like this. Well, all we want to do is be on the fairway. Dude, I w if I lived okay. on this place, I'd be on my balcony every day. We have about yards trying to get free golf balls. This is a tough green, too. Oh, my. Okay, so we want full power on the three wood. And then the wind will carry us. Could be worse. Got a heck of a slice. This one might be in the rough. Dude, it, honestly, better the rough than the sand. This is a par 5, so I ain't sweating it. I ain't sweating it. I think we do want to flop it like this. I know it was shooting over and above the Call of Duty. But I really thought we were deeper in the rough than we were. That's that's on me. That's on me. So we got a chip and the green rolls to the right. I want to hit this one around 50%. Oh, my God. From, from the jaws of victory, we may be able to snatch a heck of a defeat. This one's makeable. You heard John. You heard John. And setting up here for the bogey. Well done. All things considered... I, I choose to accept this. We can get ourselves... We got two holes left. Get ourselves back down with a par three. Oh, dude, I'll tell you. A hole in one would go a long way right now. No kidding. <laughs> I, like, I like this shot right here. Beautiful. Moved a little bit too much to the left. You know what I got to realize? We should be aiming to the right on those. Because my natural, oh. <laughs> my natural right, stroke preference takes putt. me to the left, for some reason. Nice putt. All right, I just finish it off with the bogey. Just finish it off strong. One over We're right. one over, which for our first game back in in years <laughs> seems realistic to me. And this is easier than regular golf, but harder than mini golf. Very fast. Well, at least I aim to the right, but it, it still won't be enough. We're going to be on, like, the other fairway. This is what we call a nice. Mario Golf Game Boy Color okay, shortcut. We're sitting at around 
110 yards. Now it's 110 it. yards to the hole, um, which is tough. But the good news is I always aim to the right anyway, because your boy loves to slice it. Lob wedge already has a high loft. So I think we want this around like 95%. And we're going to try to loop it around the tree with our natural slice. 90. Our natural slice played to our advantages right there. Is this a par four? Here we go. Drop this one. This, this would be big. This would be big. 40 footer. Hold your breath, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! <laughs> All right, about a three-footer here. About a three-footer. All right, so I accept I accept that our first yeah, one on the Atlantic uh, Country Club, we got a, we got a one over par. Solid one over I par can live with that. That's not too bad. I, you know what? I will favorite the Atlantic Beach Country Club. Hey, this is a great one to watch all three of. The videos are going to be relatively short, and you can see where the comparisons are here. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoy the Golden Goblet in general, there's a few administrative notes. Go to goldengoblet.net to follow along and see who's doing very well um, and who's not doing so well. And it changes week to week. It, it sincerely does. Uh, Go check out Dan and Mouth's Perspectives. They're located in the video description below. At least their channels are linked. Apart from that, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please do click the like button. Helps keep me going and give me a little algorithmic sauce. It lets YouTube show the video to more people, which leads to a healthier community over time. For now, thanks for watching, and I appreciate your support. I'll see you next time. See ya!